I have two sisters and I have two brothers. And I'm so lucky. You're so lucky. And you're the baby. And I'm tripping. You have more siblings on your daddy's side. You have more siblings. Girl, you got a lot of siblings, kid. Kailani has a sister that's in her 20s. Can you believe that? A sister that's in her 20s. That 20 year old. What are you talking about? Shh, 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 shh. No way. Mm -hmm. I told y'all Joey's older. Yeah. He's an old man. How many siblings on the dad's side? Mm -mm -mm. I can't say. Just know she got, she got them. Three baby daddies is crazy. Not as crazy as seven or eight. No, no that's crazy. Three. Hey y'all, it's Destiny. And yesterday, Liv went live on TikTok after her series. And she was talking about a lot of stuff. People in the comments were calling her out on her lies. And she actually talks about Strong Mommy Chrissy. She talks about Jasmine from My Jazzy Life. She even talks about stealing her friend's purse, which she said she didn't steal it. She said her friend just left it behind and she kept it. But that's a very different story than what Misha said because she said that the purse was there and she tried to get the police to go recover the purse. And Liv said, Nobody by that name, I guess Olivia, lives there. I had just did like a um, small claims. I did a police report at her house because the client saying, no one name lives here. And it wasn't true. The police officer was like, you know, and I described her to him. To him. And he was like, yeah, that's what the person looked like. And I said, it's her lying. He's like, there's nothing she could do. You know, so I mean, at this point, I should have a lot of like Caucasian women that are like paying her rent also, you know. So like, I just can't be around friends like that. I think it's pretty crazy that Liv can just lie so much and about everything, but I guess that's just who she is. One thing about Liv, she is going to make sure she looks good in situations and everybody else looks like the enemy. Everybody else will look like the problem. So if you're ready to get into this live stream that she did on TikTok, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Was I lying when I said that I did it? <laughs> if I'm such a liar, we all love her. Just keep it a buck. Oh, Angelica, thank you, baby. They mad it ain't break you. Keep shining and smiling. Thank you, baby. No, I know a lot of people who have done worse. Like, like literally, you guys, this is the real world. You probably have a cousin who's crapped out. You probably have an auntie who's an alcoholic. You probably have a sister that's a whole druggie. Like, there's way worse out there but you guys want to hyper focus on anything I do you know I try to make it like the worst thing in the world and then you try to comment under videos trying to further make me look a certain way and that's what's like move on with your life if you don't like me then don't like me if you think I'm Whatever you conjured up in your mind to think of me, think of me that way. It's fine. I'm not trying to. Obvious now, see, I gotta stop it right here because Liv always acts like people on the internet are coming up with lies about her when she knows that it's people in her real life that get on this internet and tell us everything. We don't have to make up lies about Liv because everybody that knew her personally will get on here and tell us what's really going on. Just because she thinks it's a lie doesn't mean everybody else came up with it. No, it was people in your real life. They're the ones that called you stinky. They're the ones that said you're a liar. They're the ones that call you tuna fish. They're the ones saying you have always been talking to all your exes even after you married your eyes. I can't change the way you think of me. That's the way you think of me, okay? So go somewhere. Move on. You know what I mean? Like, find another YouTuber to obsess about.
We get to watch you ruin your life for free. Yeah. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby, so much. No, I'm sorry, Joy. That's not correct, baby. I'm sorry, you've been lied to, or you've been, you know, whoever lied to. I don't know who lied to you, but you've been lied to, baby. And who's been lying to people, Liv? It's you. You have been lying from the beginning. Be who you are. Right, Mr. King. And also your channel being demonetized. Okay, well, once again, I'm sorry that you've been lied to. I don't really know what to do about that, babe. But Joy, you obviously feel some type of way about me. So stand on that and go somewhere else, babe. You know? Because I wouldn't watch somebody who lies and who is a neglectful parent and whatever else you think of me. I would never watch somebody like that. You know? We all know that's not true. Okay. Well, then you guys all know that it's not true. That's that's great. That doesn't change the fact that it is true. <laughs> but like I said, you can think whatever you want. I don't know who Joy is, but she was coming in here with comments that were really bothering Liv. And I'd love to see it. Having opinions on things you were not in attendance for is crazy. Right. No, not even having opinions. Like she just said, we know that it's all true. Whatever. They said, I'm just here to debunk your lies, that's all. No, you're here to give your crazy, psycho take on what I've gone through in my life. That's what you're here for. You're not debunking anything. You're trying to turn people against me because you don't like me. It's not going to work. But like I said, I'm an open book. I love to answer your questions. I love to have open conversations. But what you're not going to do is come in here and tell me what has happened to me or what I have gone through when you've never even been in my presence before. You've never even shook my hand. You've never, you've never been around me. Oh, okay, Joy. Well, that's fine, babe. Well, you're against me, so leave. Bye. I miss them couch talks. They act like they were by your side for everything. Girl, I'm telling you, it's cut, it's an obsession. If Liv didn't get on here talking about her business constantly online, nobody would know anything. If the people in Liv's life didn't feel like they had to come out here and defend themselves from the things that she says on this internet, we wouldn't know anything. No, I'm telling you, junior school dropout. I'm telling you, junior school dropout. Oh, okay, baby. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Right, Ashley. <laughs> you are you and no one can be you. Do what will make you feel better. Mm-hmm. 100%. Definitely. I plan to. All the time. I'm living my best life. Other than this what's going on with me and my kids, I'm so happy, you guys. Like, oh my god, these people keep trying to add me. You're right, Joy, and so do you, baby. God is watching everything. It's because you're not educated enough to understand. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know that. That is very true. Education is important. And one thing about it, Luke doesn't have any. So it is hard for her to understand what people are saying. That ain't funny. That ain't good with me. your mod oh baby Portia thank you love I don't have any mods on TikTok I don't know if I want to get mods yet I haven't gone like super viral yet can everybody tap the screen by the way 
I haven't gone super viral yet, but when I do, understand I said when I do, because it will happen soon, then I feel like I'm gonna get mods, and Portia, you will be the first one. That's my sister's name, Portia. Um, Joy, you must be miserable. Girl, yes. He pays you dust on this internet, but you still talk about him every every day, every chance you get. I sure do. I sure do. Like I said, when I get my babies back, I will never talk about him again. Sure won't. Is Juicy Baby so sweet? No, girl, she's drinking her bottle. Watching Rachel. Yeah, when I get my babies back, don't worry, guys. And that's when y'all will be real mad. Why aren't you mentioning this person? Y'all will be in my chat comments. Because, girl, I am still be vlogging when I'm in my 50s, showing you how good my life is. When I'm on yachts and shit in Florida with my kids and my new husband, girl. <laughs> I will be living it up. Y'all be in my comments. But what about him, huh? Well, you just forgot about him? You're not going to talk about him? Y'all will be right there just waiting for me to drop you some crumbs. <laughs> and I'll be paying you this. I'll be like, who? Who, you, who, girl? I don't know that person. Shit, my kids won't know him either. That part, okay? So, we'll all be like, who? Shit. Oh, right? Is that right, Shen Shen? Oh, okay, girl. Well, what did your sister say about you? Or do you have a sister? You probably don't have one. That's why you're speaking on mine. My sister would never, my sister would never associate with you weirdos and losers. She's a high class woman. My sister's down, baby. Down from the ground, you understand me? That's why y'all mad. My sister got my back, honey. I have a real great family. Even my father, like I have great parents. I have I have great people behind me. I love my babies. Jehu, right. Just wait on it. Don't worry, guys. I know you guys hate when I talk on him. When I talk on y'all baby daddy. <laughs> but don't worry, one of these days, I won't even know who that man is. I'm counting down the days, girl. Hi, I Spy. Hey, baby. Why didn't you tell your fans about all the nasty stuff you did at Raquel's house? Oh, I didn't know I did any nasty stuff. Why don't you let us know? Okay, incoming, guys. Shen Shen is, gonna, is going to add a little bit into my story. These haters are really um, imaginative. They have a really big imagination. So let's hear it, baby. Maybe I'll add it to the book. Cause I'm writing a book, you guys. So so go ahead. Let me see if it if it works. I also heard about the incident with the dude at their house. Oh. Oh, I had a dude at their house? Excuse me, who was it? Kailani's dad? Is that who it was? Why does everyone have to remind you to bathe even? after four or five days. Girl, because I hate to bathe. I hate it so much. Yes, everybody has, to, everybody when I walk around, I walk around with like a green ooze following me everywhere because I don't like to bathe. I hate it so much. <laughs> but we're still waiting for the incident, baby. Let me hear the incident. And you're the only fan in here, Shen Shen. So girl, let, let us know. Do you have any questions, um, I spy? I hate showers are the worst. Dirty is the best. <laughs> right? I just love to smell myself. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not... That's why I have, like, you know, so many perfumes and, like... You know, I always look clean and bathed. But you know, that's the beauty of never showering, guys, you know? It's the best. I'm on week two of no shower. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, girl. They think we shower? What's going on? Girl, bye. 
<laughs> y'all are so funny. I love y'all. What is a shower? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. Why shower? That's why they made perfume, right? Just layer it on every day and put a new one on. <laughs> Y'all so funny. No, I really love you guys. Other than all the hate and the BS smelling organic, right? Other than all the hate, I've been getting a lot of love and I see all you guys. I was confused on that part. What part, baby? I think, I don't know if your other comment came through. I'm gonna put you on my to no shower. Shower routine with my perfume. <laughs> I should do a funny ass uh, like, like night routine. Like a funny ass one. Or like, I don't know, like a shower routine. Like a parody or something. Then the comments were wild. Yeah. When the pH balance on point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. A spoof, yeah. Like a funny ass video. Everyone thinks that they're gonna see me do a shower routine and really, I'm just gonna get up, stanky and funky, and just put on a bunch of perfume. And just be like, who needs to shower? It's so crazy the things that they say about me, you guys. It's so crazy. It's so, like, insane. Like, talk about you just make up anything. Like, really showering? I've never hated a, a female so much where I've talked about her hygiene. Like, they can't say I'm ugly. They can't really call me fat anymore. I mean, I'm still very fat, but, you know. I'm actually losing weight and stuff. And these same people who down me still to this day, they said I would never lose weight. They said that with pride and now I'm losing it. So imagine everything else y'all said I would never do, like get my kids back. Imagine the day I get my kids back and it will happen. It's definitely gonna happen soon. It's in the horizon. And you know, when I'm going through things that I'm going through, the people around me just keep reminding me, Olivia, you're not gonna be going through this forever. Like, you're not gonna have to go through this forever. You're not gonna have to deal with this person forever. You're not. When they're 18, no, not when they're 18. Way before that, baby. Robin will be 12 next year. So. And at a certain point, kids can um, decide where they want to go. It's up to the child. So yeah. But you're only losing weight off shot. It's not natural. It doesn't matter. If I lose it naturally, if I got a weight loss surgery, you're a hater. <laughs> it, stop bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, you guys said I couldn't and I did. And I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna reach my goal weight in the next month or so. And I'm gonna get that surgery. And I'm gonna be nip tuck, bitch. And then what? And then what though? Y'all are gonna be, so y'all still gonna be mad in the comments. Talking about back in 2020, what I was doing in 2020, girl. Poor baby. Poor baby, poor baby. Yeah, and I'm gonna continue to inspire and love on other women because that's what I love to see. I love to see women empowering other women. It's beautiful. They can decide. They can decide at a certain age. Yes, definitely. Um, they're gonna bring up the girls. <laughs> girls, I'm telling you, when I'm on the yacht with my husband and my kids one day, they're still gonna be bringing up the girls trip. But you said that you did something on a girls trip 10 years ago, Olivia, how dare you? They'll, they'll be right there in the comments. Thank you. Araceli, thank you, baby, so are you. 2020 matters to all, to why we got here, right? 2020 matters, yeah. The part of 2020 that matters is not the girls trip though. It's the fact that I married my worst enemy. It's the fact that I married my biggest hater. Imagine marrying your biggest hater. Imagine sleeping with your biggest hater. Imagine having kids with your biggest hater, you know? 
It's crazy. That's the part that matters about 2020, baby. Uplift women, but in, but a Trump supporter. Oh God, here comes the Trump supporting talk. Girl, bye. Go vote for Kamala, you robot. I don't care that you're voting for a woman who's saying she's black and she's not black. So don't worry about who I'm voting for. Why are you in my business? Why are you in my business? That person who said that, you're the same person who's voting for a woman who is claiming to be black and she's not. And Erica, you look like a black woman. Don't be, don't be bamboozled, baby. Okay, don't be bamboozled. I like your tattoo, sweetie. Thank you. I am. Okay, good. It's nice to get the real, real. It's nice to get the real, real. I don't know what you're talking about. I like tattoos. Thank you, baby. Me too. Y'all salty, girl. They big salty. They big kosher salt, baby, okay? Hey, that girl's trip was funny. Remember when y'all met that weird guy? We met a weird guy? Who? I don't even remember that trip. I was just so high. <laughs> I was so high, guys. <laughs> um, Who did we meet? Was I there? In the club. We met a weird guy in the club? I oh, I don't remember. I, I don't know. The difference is you need, you don't need to wear wigs. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> your series spoke to me, but it kind of feels like you're defensive. Of course I'm defensive. I'm fighting the world. I'm fighting against a bunch of invisible people who don't know me. And when you have been absolutely betrayed by the person who's not supposed to do that to you, you do have a sense of defensiveness. You know what I mean? That goes without saying. I think you would be defensive too. Like I said, a lot of you women could never even comprehend the pain that I have gone through. You could never comprehend it. And the people who go against me and the people who laugh at my pain, you have something very special for you in store because it's like seeing someone dying in the street, even if you like them or you don't like them. You're seeing them physically suffer and you're standing there pointing and laughing. It's sick. It's sick. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a mother. I'm just a mother who wants to be a part of my kid's life. Now, if I was ducking and dodging and I was like, fuck that child support and I was like, fuck them kids and fuck all that shit. I'm about to go out here and I'm about to party, bitch. I'm about to be a, I'm about to be a freak in the streets and a baba. Like, if I was like that type of woman, then you guys have all the ammunition to do what you do. But you don't. You don't have any. I literally said in my video, I will, I just want my kids. I just want. I just want my kids. But you try to make it about everything else. You try to make it about him. You try to make it about her. You try to make it about this. You try to make it about that. It's not about any of that. I just want my kids. Because you didn't take it serious. Okay. I didn't. But I am now. And that's why I'm speaking on it. That's why I'm speaking on it. I'm taking it very serious now. We make mistakes. Erica. You've never made a mistake, Erica. That's why you feel so privileged to come into my chat and act like you've never made a mistake by pointing at my mistakes. Well, baby, good for you. I hope you never do make a mistake because when you do, God will be watching you. You know? Girl, stop reading the negativity. Sounds like you're taking responsibility and will grow from this. Thank you, Jessica. I just put Suki back outside. She doesn't like to, I think she's scared of the dark. Why do we have to take it seriously when you said you never read court orders? You don't have to take anything seriously. Erica, you don't even have to be here. 
Nobody even wants you here. I thought you were healed. I'm very healed, baby. What the heck did Erica say? <laughs> no, I am mistakes, but I handle business when I have to. That's good, baby. Good for you. Um, but keep telling the same story over and over and over again. Sure do. And you keep listening to it over and over and over again. So what does that say about you? This is my mouth. I didn't know that my mouth belongs to you, Coco. Cause you talk about what I'm talking about. Why are you worried about what's coming out of my mouth? Worry about your mouth. Matter of fact, worry about your eyes and your ears because what you're listening to and what you're seeing, girl, is not aligning with what you wanna do in your head cause you obviously don't like me. You obviously have a problem with me. So why you decided to join my live at 12 midnight, girl? I have no idea and comment. And you've been in my comments multiple times talking the same mess. Talking the same mess, girl. What are you accomplishing? Because I'm still here. And guess what? Tomorrow I'm going to be here. The next day, the next day, the next day, the next day. I'm going to still be here. You going to still be commenting? Or are you going to move on with your life and find something better to do? Oh, okay. You had a lot of people who did you dirty and stayed 10 toes. I sure did. I was thinking about that when I was driving home tonight. I was like, all people, like all my friend, like my friends and people that I thought I was cool with, they all turned on me. Like people turned on me for real. And I'm not talking about this internet bullshit, but like people really did turn on me. And I sure did keep my, my shit 10 toes down. Sure did. It's your story. Keep. It's, it, girl, it's your story. Keep talking about it. I am, baby. Uh, I definitely am. After uh, weight loss. Uh, what about it, baby? After weight loss. Amen. You keep waking up and trying for, for the people who love you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. I will, baby. They turned fake. After my weight loss? Oh no, baby, they turned, they turned fake. I don't know, I think it was for this internet shit. Honestly, I think I receive a lot of hate from people, like the weirdos, the people who don't belong in my life because God will make people show themselves, show their true intentions so they will be out your life. And a lot of people were jealous of me. You know, and you can tell that they were jealous of me because right after they dealt with me, they came onto social media or YouTube or Instagram and tried to expose me. They tried to get like some shine off me. So they were obviously jealous of me. People get jealous of shit like that, you know? It's crazy, but it's okay though. Put your trust in him, right, baby? I think your personality is too strong for a lot of people and they are, they were intimidated. Yeah, definitely. But that's the thing though, you guys, how I am in person, I'm very sweet. I'm very nice, I'm very loving. And that's why I've always tried to help people. And, but I also have like a very, uh, I could be also very, uh, I don't know the right word. <laughs> oh, I remember that situation with you stealing your friend's bag, allegedly. No, I didn't steal anything. But you know what? You know what I wish I did? I wish I took the bag. I wish I set up the camera. Do I still have the bag? I definitely got rid of the bag. I think I threw it away. Yeah, that, that bag's been thrown away. Yeah, right? I think it's been thrown away. Or did I bring it here so I could do exactly what I say I wanna do? I wish I could take the bag, put lighter fluid to the bag, set up my camera, call that girl up and say, come get your bag. And when she pulls up, I light that bitch on fire for y'all and for her to see. I wish I could, since y'all are so worried about the bag. Girl, I wish I could so bad, but I think I threw that fucking bag away. Girl, I didn't nobody want that crusty, dusty bag. <laughs> the fuck? I stole the bag. <laughs> bitch, if I was gonna steal from that bitch, I would've stole some money off that big hoe. 
the fuck I gotta steal her her dusty bag for? <laughs> what the fuck, y'all funny. I have, I have more money than that bitch. I, goodbye. Anyway. But it doesn't hurt me. Nothing they say hurts me. That's the thing. So I don't know why they think they're hurting me. Y'all are just, they're just being ignorant. They're being, they're not hurting me. I know, girl, they're talking about a fucking bag. She said, I'm so lost. <laughs> girl. Okay. So I used to live in Texas. Okay. And I had this friend who was bumming off of me. She was living in my home for free. And I, and I had no problem with that because I'm that type of friend. Girl, you need a place to live, come live in my place. She ended up turning on me for some fucking clout, okay? And, and because she was just a bad friend from the jump. And she left, she left in like, in a fit of rage because I asked this, this female to help me clean. I asked her to help me clean my apartment because I was very, very down and she was living there and she wasn't putting in any exchange financially. So I feel like if you ask a home girl, and plus I wanted her company. It was one of those days, it was rainy. It was just like one of those days and I just wanted to be with my home girl. So I was like, girl, come, you know, come back to the house, help me clean up. Like I just wanted to vibe clean and chill with my girl. And she took that all the wrong way. She acted like I was telling her to come and clean my fucking house. No, come clean with me. Like, and plus, if you see that your homegirl is going through something, why wouldn't you want to help her? Be around her. It's like, I was overwhelmed. I was going through a lot. And I just asked this bitch to help me. And she said, she said no. And she went off on me. Acting like I asked her to clean my fucking house. Anyway. I thought we were cool. She came in literally cussing me out. She got all her shit and she left talking about she would beat my ass. You gonna beat my ass? When you were using my VJJ soap, bitch? I found, I found all my fucking cleaning, like cleanly products. Like my soap, my perfume up in my second bathroom cause you were fuck. I couldn't find my freaking JJ soap, y'all. And I found that shit in the second bathroom cause her funky ass was using my motherfucking soap. So not only was she living on my fucking couch eating my motherfucking food, but she was using my motherfucking vagina soap. And this bitch wants to fight me because I asked her to help me clean up. I was like, really, bitch? Is that how you gonna do me? So, she left in a fit of fucking rage, okay? And, oh God, it's just so dirty, it's so dirty. And then, oh, and that's another thing, she was dirty. She was a dirty, and y'all know how I feel about dirty fucking people. And I'm not saying that I was asking her to clean up her dirty mess, because no, that wasn't the case. I was just asking her to help me clean up the house, just get, get it nice and fresh. And we were gonna, we could chill after, like whatever the case, just some homegirl shit, y'all. Some real deal homegirl shit. And honestly, like I said, if I if I had a homegirl and I saw her going through it with her ex and she's doing, like she saw me really going through it. I would have been there for my homegirl. I would have been like, girl, come on, let's let's clean up, let's get go get some drinks, like, you know? But this fucking rude, insensitive bitch was so insensitive and just i'm sorry i just have a lot to say because she's she did me dirty she did me dirty and then y'all want to talk about a stupid dusty crusty bag okay she ended up leaving that dusty crusty bag in my closet i didn't even know that motherfucking bag and not even my closet she left that bag in my kids closet it was in and you know how kids are they get the closet all it has shoes everywhere shit everywhere i literally found her bag when i was moving so i was like okay this is a big ass bag so i put the remaining of my shit that was going to go in the front of the truck in that bag sure did was i supposed to call her and be like hey girl remember me remember how you fucked me over come get your bag girl no i was like i'm about to just use this bag it's better than a plastic bag so one day i was on live and people saw the fucking bag i don't give a fuck i wasn't trying to hide it I stole her bag. And then everyone tried to make a scene. See, y'all just make shit up. Y'all would have done it too, though. Y'all does see, and y'all, y'all bitches that bring it up, y'all probably would have really did it with intention to steal. I don't need shit from that bitch. I drove a Mercedes. She drove a 02 Lexus.
a 99 Lexus, bitch. I had my shit together. She did not. So don't don't play with me. I could have bought five of those motherfucking bags at the time, but I don't even rock Louis Vuitton like that. And like I said, it was a dusty, crusty bag. It was dirty. It had it had uh, dirt marks all over. It was dusty. So try again, y'all. Try the fuck again. But I wish I did have it though. I would burn it just for y'all. The repo man got the Benz. Yeah, I gave it to them. I said, I don't want this shit. But don't worry, stay tuned. I'm about to get another Benz. I'm gonna get a Benz SUV very soon. I'm gonna get a Benz SUV. I think I'm gonna get the GL class. Wait on it, y'all. Yeah, they're super. Keep dreaming. It's not a dream. <laughs> but you can think that. You keep thinking it's a dream. Just so when I pop out with it, you'll be hella mad. Girl, trust me, I always say this. I have so much more to make them mad about. Like, this ain't nothing. I'm in a little apartment. I'm chilling. Got my little paid off car outside. I'm chilling. Like, girl, this is nothing to where I'm going. My electric was just cut off. It was, it was, I forgot to pay the bill. I could never be mad or jealous. Cool. Nobody asked, Shirley. Every time you say you're doing something, you always do it. Yeah, thank you, baby. So many haters, I know. It's because a lot of my fans turned into haters, unfortunately. I don't know why, but they did. You've had paper tags for over nine months. Oh, I have, girl. Can I see? Show, send me the pictures of my paper tags. Say the year and make of your car outside. Why? So you can come and stalk me even more? I'm okay. I don't really welcome you stalkers. Oh, you trying to say that to be funny? Oh, my car is a, I think it's a 2007. I don't care, that doesn't bother me. So that's the thing though. I can sit, I can be broke. Like I can, I, yeah, I'm broke. I can be broke. I can live the broke life. I can drive the, the O2 Hansa. I could, I could live the broke life, you guys. Check on the baby. The baby's right here. Do you guys want to see her? Want to see my baby? I want to the camera. <laughs> my daddy. Yeah, she's chilling. It's a 02 Volvo? Mm -mm. I think it's a 07, I believe. Da uh, the dashboard lit up, lit up like downtown Dallas. Okay, well if that's true, why do you care? Are you driving it? Are you driving my, my, my car that's lit up like Dallas? I'm confused. You guys think you're eating, but you're not. Gets you from point A to point B. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna keep it until I get my Mercedes. You'll see. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait on it. <laughs> my people already got it together for me. So yeah, just like I said, just wait for it. And that's okay. Like, girl, we ate in full. Girl, no, you hungry and starving. Picking up crumbs after me, girl. Trying to trying to grasp for any little 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 crumb you can get over here. Hi, Angela. Hi, beauty. I drove the 04 and I'm sad thinking about getting rid of it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't have a problem getting an older car. I don't have a problem living a a more um you know, just you know, living in living in my means, you know what I mean? An 04 is crazy, no shade. No, an 04 is not crazy. And that type of mentality is like your fucking crab in the bucket, girl. It's crab in the bucket mentality. It doesn't matter what a bitch is driving as long as she's getting it. As long as she's getting it, girl. 
It doesn't really matter. You talking about what somebody's driving is crazy. Like, why the fuck does it matter? Are we in school? Are we in high school where we make fun of each other because of what we're wearing and what shoes we're wearing and what car we're driving? Like, grow the fuck up. There's some bitches out here that don't even have a car. And y'all would follow y'all would follow them and support them. There's some bitches out here that just barely got a car in their grown ass age. And you will follow them and support them, but make but at the same time make fun of me because of the car I have. You guys are dense. Grow up. Just having a car to keep to keep is expensive. It just doesn't matter, you know? Don't worry about other people's shit. Worry about your own shit. That's why you ain't got nothing. Because you worried about the next bitch's shit. You know? You claim to be that bitch, but in an O2, O2 Volvo fully loaded with two car seats. Yes, girl. I sure do. And I'm going to be that bitch if I was in a if I was in a, a 1990 bucket. I'm still that bitch and you're still mad. You would still be mad in my comments hating on me. You would still be mad because it's not about... It's not on me, baby. It's in me. And that's why you bothered. That's why all you bitches stay bothered. Because it's not on me. It's in me. See, what you have, you can only attain in the physical world. Because you, you ain't of nothing. You're not of substance. You're not real. You're not beautiful on the inside or the outside. And that's why you're bothered. I don't care about physical shit. Physical shit comes to me. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. I don't care about none of this shit. I don't even give a fuck about this wig. But it looks good on me, huh? But I don't give a fuck about it. I don't need it. That's why I shaved my head because I didn't need no fucking hair. I didn't need no hair to cover up my face and cover up myself. I'm not ashamed of who the fuck I am, bitch. I love who I am. I wear that shit proudly. So fuck out of here. You're just mad. You're mad. Cause you hate yourself and I love myself. Instead of hating, take notes. You know, that's what I do. When I see a woman doing her big one, I be taking notes, girl. That's inspiring, that's motivation. I applaud those females. But not females like you hating them in my comments. Y'all hate on the bitch. Y'all find any little, re y'all be, y'all be trying to let me see. Let me zoom in to the corner. Let me zoom into that look. Look at look at look at that motherfucking lace, bitch. Look at that. Oh, comment, comment right now. We can see your lace, bitch. You, girl, bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And, and you, but you sitting there with no wig, looking like looking like looking like you do. You sitting there in a synthetic, bitch. But you zooming in on this uh, hundred percent human hair. Bitch, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I just clowned the girl for the O2 Lexus. I sure did. I sure did. Cause you guys think when you guys say I stole something, those are those are fighting words, babe. Don't tell I'm just trying to prove a point. Don't tell me I need to steal from nobody. I don't steal, baby. I get stolen from. People steal shit from me. People try to take from me. I don't take from other people because I don't need nobody's shit. Just like I didn't need that nigga's child support, I don't need shit from nobody. I stand on my own. I do for myself. People constantly try to take from me. You see how that works? So, mm -mm. steal from who? A bitch in an O2 Lexus? A bitch with no apartment? I had my own everything, still do. What about it? <sighs> okay. Okay. The point I'm, uh, the point I'm just saying, don't say that people are high school, but say the same thing. Oh, you better hush. You better hush, girl, with your fat belly. With your fat chubby butt. 
Ils font des pompes. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Look at you with your stinky butt. You mad because you hit your stinky? Let's look at the wipes. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the wipes. You see all this shit right here? You see all this shit right here? This is promo. I get this shit for free. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. And then not not saying literally, like I don't care. I'm thankful, but like, girl, why? I should have put on a few outfits. I would like to show you guys. Ugh. Everybody tap the screen though. Oh, what should I do? Should I put you right here? I think I should put it right here. Oh, Kalani. Oh, Kalani, you heavy girl. Oh, my phone's about to fall. Hold on, girl. Why are you swarming like that? Hold on, guys. I gotta change your diaper. She stinks. Ooh, you stink. You stink, girl. With your stinky butt. Hold on, you wiggly worm. Where are you trying to go? I'm about to change you. Oh, I hate when it does this. Why does it do that? I, uh, hold on, Kailani. There we go. That's so annoying. Hold on, y'all. Everybody tap the screen while I'm gone for a minute. Give me a second, give me a second. Kailani. Kail okay, all right, girl. Don't be fussy with me. Ooh, girl. It's a lot of poo poo. Okay, Kailani, stop. Why are you sh why are you doing all that, girl? <coughs> Kailani. God. Hold on, I'm trying to change you with your stinky butt. Ooh, Kailani Lani Lani. Ooh, girl, cause you such a chunky. Kailani Lani Lani. Kailani Lani Lani. Okay, mama's little baby man short name short name mama. Okay, all right, all right, kick, kick, girl, kick, 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 kick. Come on, kick, kick, yeah. Oh, look at you kicking. Oh, look at you kicking. Hold on, I know, I know, you're tired. I know. Mommy, mommy's about to rock you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm about to carry you. Please don't pee on me, okay? With your chunky butt. Hold on, guys. Ugh. Don't pee me. Don't pee on me. Don't go pee pee's on me, Kailani. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Eyes are heavy. Okay. Okay, there. Does that feel better? I'm gonna put a little ointment on her. Okay, uh-uh, girl. Hold on. Okay, hold on. You get an ointment on the couch, girl. Hey, Kinky, stop kicking, girl. Mama said I'm thinking of. Maybe you need a bird. Is that what's going on here? Did your tummy hurt? Okay, all right. I know. Mama's little baby mouse. 
short. Okay, I gotta go wash my hands. So you're gonna come with me, stinky girl. Uh, yes, yeah, stinky, you're coming with me. I can't leave your wiggling warm self right here. I'm gonna wiggle right off the couch. Okay, come on me. Come on, girl, come on. Ooh, my hair, because I know what you're gonna do. Ooh. Thank you for everyone's happy. Oh my God, Jabria wants to go live with me? Baby, I would love to go live with Jabria. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Oh, you did have to burp. I knew you, I knew it was something wrong. Talk to y'all. Oh, we are over 10K. We have 11K. Thank you guys. Is AJ asleep? Yes, girl. He fell asleep. No, I know what you want. You want my earring. No. No, Kailani. No. What did I say? What did I say? Yeah. All right, so let's keep it going. Did I miss any good comments? Let's see. Oh, good. Now she's burping. Oh, thank you, Portia. Oh, gosh. Come on, honey. I like the rug. Thank you, baby. I, I got off Amazon. Have you chosen her Halloween? No, I haven't. I have to, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have all the kids for Halloween, so I have to get all their Halloween costumes, and I was just gonna get them all at one time. Uh, okay, stop. The point I'm just saying, don't say that, oh, I read that had a baby with a with a white man oh god you guys and if i did what about it what if i did have a baby with a white man the fact that you think you can say that so confidently is what's wrong with you why does that even matter why are you so focused on race what's wrong with the world today honestly I thought she was Chinese though. That's what y'all said. Say, wakashi wa sta, 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 kira, kira, wakashi wa sta. Was that you in that music video, girl? Was, was that your daddy in that music video? No melanin. I feel so bad for children these days. Because they have to grow up in a world with crazy, weird-ass adults like y'all. Imagine commenting on a baby's skin tone. Imagine if it was the other way around. Imagine if you. Imagine if I was holding a black, dark-skinned baby and white people were in here talking about how dark that baby was. Could you imagine the fucking outrage? But y'all think you could do it because she's light skin you think it's okay reverse racism is still racism babe just letting you know oh 
I give you kiss because I love you. <laughs> would I ever do a meet and greet? I sure would. I can't wait to do one one day. You're getting baby fever. She's so sleepy. Not Joey, who couldn't make it to the birth. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You have to be kidding me. AJ, go lay down. You were fine just the way you were. Go lay down. Okay, lay right here, lay. I'm telling you, they will not stay asleep if I'm not right next to them. I have to break them of that. I really do. Like, bro. There are some two-year-olds that sleep in a whole bedroom by themselves. It is not that serious. And all my, you guys should, you guys need to understand. When my kids are over here, they all sleep in my room. Okay? Lay right here. You're okay. You don't have to be on top of mommy 24-7. You can lay right here. You're here. You're still touching me. Your foot is on me. My babies are the same girl and they fight over who sleeps right next to me i have to constantly tell them baby i have this baby when kailani is a little older she's not gonna be rolling off the bed she's gonna know how to sleep you know not in the middle because kailani always has to be in the middle so they they literally argue about who sleeps right next to their mommy and i'm just like oh my god it breaks my heart it breaks my heart so much Cause I wish I had a, I always tell them, I wish I, I wish I had a bed, like the whole size of my room that we, we could all sleep in it. And sometimes we do all sleep in it. And mommy gets zero sleep because I'm constantly worried about someone rolling over the baby. But I mean, I guess I don't have to worry about them rolling on her cause she can roll and move herself. But she's still, she's still so little, you know? But man, my babies, that's how they are. Oh my God, give me my earring. That's the problem when you coast. Yeah, I know. And I coast up with all of them. It's the truth, it's the truth. It's the truth. What does she bust down? What does she bust down? I remember when you was a mommy of three. Mm-hmm. Stop it, Kailani. You do too much. She's like, hush, girl, hush. Hush. You hush. You hush with your cute self. Wait, you have an eyelash like right near your eye. Yeah, now there's to say, now there's five of us. There's five of us. I have two sisters and I have two brothers. And I'm so lucky. You're so lucky. And you're the baby. And I'm tripping. You have more siblings on your daddy's side. You have more siblings. Girl, you got a lot of siblings, kid. Kailani has a sister that's in her 20s. Can you believe that? A sister that's in her 20s. That 20 year old. What are you talking about? No way. Mm -hmm. I told y'all Joey's older. Yeah. He's an old man. How many siblings on the dad's side? Mm -mm -mm. I can't say. 
just know she got, she got him. It feels like you just had Robin. <laughs> well, you guys didn't know me when I had Robin. You guys met me when I had Ryan. You mean Ryan? I feel like I just had Ryan. Three baby daddies is crazy. Not as crazy as seven or eight. No, no that's crazy. Three, three is like, damn. But five, six, seven, eight, you know. Even four is like, damn. You know, <laughs> but three is like, oh, okay, okay. I see how, yeah, you, you, you fuck the, you fuck. okay. But like, th like four, five, six, seven, eight, girl. Three's not crazy. No, I don't think three is crazy. You tell so many campfire stories, it's hard to keep up. Really? Well, hit the a screen record like most of my haters do, so you can go back and rewatch them, and that way you can keep up. You talking about. I'm not talking about nobody. Y'all talk about me. I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just saying. Y'all hate on me, but love a bitch who has 10 baby daddies. So really, what's crazy? You know what I mean? Because we, we could get crazy up in here. And we could talk about a bitch with seven baby daddies. Okay, bitch? But, you know, it's not that crazy up here. You know, I'm not like you other girls. You know? I'm very kept up. I'm very demure. You know, only a few guys get to have kids with me. Not seven or eight. You know, cause that's a little too much. That's a little crazy, you know? Oh, that's lame. You think so? Just as lame, girl, I match energy. Keep, you wanna keep it lame? We can keep it lame. Or we can keep it cute, y'all decide. Cause y'all wanna tell some jokes, bitch. <laughs> I'm the joke teller. So keep it cute. Why do I always bring, it, bring her up? I don't. Y'all brought her up. I literally did not bring her up, but y'all did. Y'all stay with that bitch in your mouth. You guys love me to speak on other people. Cause y'all know it's funny. Y'all know you be kicking. You be <laughs> that bitch stupid. You know you be saying that. Cause you know it's funny. Um, but yeah. I don't be talking about nobody. Y'all bring these people up. Baby's not going to sleep. I know. It's cause when we left just a little while ago, she was sleeping apart. So she got a little burst of energy. Maybe, girl, nobody. Nobody. No one's the book. Exactly, Lisa. Nobody. Shit. Just another hater. Poor baby should be sleep. Still be sneak dissing you. How you feel about that? Girl, that's like saying a bum on the street be sneak dissing me. Girl, I don't give a fuck. Good for her. Keep sneak dissing me. She can't sneak diss anybody. She needs to sneak diss her ass to a dermatologist, okay? And then we'll talk. Why bring her up, but you can ignore it and keep it cute? Because I don't have to. That's why I'm a grown ass woman and I decide what I want to do. That's why. But y'all could keep it cute and not even say her name in my chat. And you know, we just roll right past the seven, eight baby daddy conversation, you know? But y'all like it, so I love it. How about that? That's demure. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? You trying to see your brother? Look, you nosy. She is so nosy. Hurting my wrist. Girl. My baby. Anyway. Phone. It was not supposed to be on live this long. Thank you, Angelica. Love you, girl. I'm let away your body more. And that's all I want you. Just like Kalani is. Kalani. Kalani. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, baby. Somebody said I'm lying. What am I lying about, Ashley? En enlighten us, please, baby. Is Kalani gonna be a little person? Her head is large. I don't know, girl, she might be. Are you gonna be a little person? You gonna be cute regardless. Uh-uh, you can't be on here with no shirt. 
Go put a shirt on. No, you know what? Lay down. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. I'll be back. So that was the live stream that Liv did. Yes, she was talking about everybody. Yes, she's very defensive when people talk about what she went through. And of course, when people talk about how it was her fault. Can y'all believe she actually said that it wasn't the $400 and needing a lawyer for the reason why her children were taken away? That's the reason she said it was for all of these years because she didn't have the money for a lawyer. Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.